Hello everyone and welcome to your reading at the Rose Tarragals. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for mid-month February 2022. During this reading please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading it may not resonate with you 100% okay. If this is the case please take a look at your moon rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Before we start, I would like to thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light, for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, darlings. So, Sagittarius, let's get started. <clears throat> Shuffled your cards, meditated over them, prayed over them, and they are now ready for a good reading. What is going on with all the signs? <laughs> Ooh. There's one recurring card that has appeared in all the signs. Right. <clears throat> so let me shuffle one last shuffle in front of the camera for the fortune deck as clarifier. I prefer to have the fortune deck as clarifier because when I do the tarot and tarot, ooh, it gets a bit too intense and sometimes a lot of negativity also gets exposed through the readings and I just don't like it, you know what I mean. Fortune deck is a bit mild, the energies are flowy and it's lovely. So, let's see. Hi, fortunes. <laughs> you start with fortune <laughs> from the fortune deck. Alright Sagittarius, so we can see here coming into the reading. Um, there's uh, a new start for you in love, okay? <clears throat> Actually, I feel as though it's in career for some of you. You could be uh, having a brand new start in your career, your career, business, whatever you're doing on the side. Side hustle is taking off beautifully, okay? Fortune is shining on you. Uh, fortune is on your side and uh, you are moving forward beautifully. For some of you in love, you're receiving some kind of communication or you're wanting to give some kind of communication to somebody uh, that is on your mind, okay? Uh, you feel as though this person, you're actually making the choice, okay? And not only that, you feel as though this person could be a soulmate and you feel as though it's a divinely guided connection which could lead towards a long-term commitment, okay? Uh, for some of you, you could have shared a home together. Uh, some of you could have... Um, <coughs> planned marriage together, living together, yes, but at the moment everything seems to be hanging, uh, you know, you do not know where it's going because uh, there is uh, some kind of detachment over here, there is no communication in between you both, I think you may have broke it off or just walked away in, a, uh, in an angry fit because uh, you could have got to know that your person was probably messing about with people on the side so this has got you some sadness here yeah? when you look at the past you, you feel as though you know there was so much potential in this person in this relationship to go the long haul but um, you know you feel as though your person may have cheated you of this opportunity or you may have uh, feel as though um, your person is not mature enough to you know take this relationship to the next level and You've been thinking a lot about this and I think at the end of the day you're going to let your thoughts be known, okay, whichever way it be. Now let's see what your person is thinking about you. Your person is definitely keeping an eye on you. If you all may have had any communication in the past, it could have been very immature. Yes, this person could perhaps be playing some kind of mind games with you. Yes, but you're not buying into it. <coughs> if at all, you know. If there's some kind of manipulation happening around you, you're definitely not buying into it. Yes, they are hoping for a reconciliation, but at the moment they are concentrating on their career, they're concentrating on their money. 
they are looking at the past, they are analyzing their behaviors, patterns, and what they did and how you all may have behaved in the relationship in the past and what things may need to change moving forward if it is so. Your person is thinking about the times you'll, you know, enjoy the times you'll share together, the times you'll share the same space and how you'll made it click so well together. So they may have tried to find the same kind of chemistry with other people, but there was always something missing. It was not the whole package like what you were. So it's keeping them sad. They are sad about it, yes. But at the same time, they think that you hate them. Yes, they are. <coughs> they may try to surprise you with some gifts, with some kind of um, you know peace offering that they feel could uh, lighten the mood and could perhaps make you happy in the near future. Moving on, I can see clearly. Let's see the outcome. This relationship has made you very wise beyond your years okay darling you have learned a lot it's not like you have um, this relationship has not taught you every relationship teaches us something or the other yes but re this one has made you very wise on to what you need to accept in your life and what you shouldn't you're definitely waiting on this person to return back to you yes yeah but uh, you feel as though perhaps there's too much that may have happened in the past and perhaps you feel this is irrecoverable at the moment and because you're not having any, uh, you don't know what's going on in their mind, right? But from here you can see what's going on in their mind. They are thinking about you too. And from your point of view, you feel it's irrecoverable because you're not receiving any kind of uh, proper communication from this person and some of you are left in the dark. So you do not want to stay in that position anymore and instead you are moving forward. Uh, you're bringing the cycle to an end, you're probably deading the situation, you're pulling back your energy from the situation completely, from this relationship, sorry, completely, and you're probably moving forward. There is a lot of offers that's coming your way, but I think at the moment you are uh, kind of concentrating on yourself, yes, and you feel as though this is not going to go anywhere, this relationship, and you waited long enough and you feel it's time to move. Uh, some of you will go ahead and start dating new people. Some of you are sprucing yourself up again. Yes, if you have been down in the dumps and depressed, probably you'll be going to the salon and creating a new avatar of yourself and looking good all over again. Yes. So if you take, yourself, take care of yourself mentally and spiritually, physically, everything else will fall into place and energetically, everything else will happen for you as well. Now let's see what the uh, oracles speak about your energy. So, over here the romance angel says, Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy, okay, so perhaps it's time and you're feeling it as well to release this person from your life and to let it go. So over here we can see your crown chakra is probably open now. You're seeing things from a different point of view. You're seeing things clear as day. You have been spiritually awakened. Some of you may have uh, had the Kundalini rising moment wherein there's a lot of changes that may have been going through your body. You could have faced a lot of aches and pains, especially to do with your bones, to do with your spine. Yes, if that's the case, that is your uh, spiritual self coming into alignment and manifesting in your physical body. You're asked to have a lot of patience with yourself. Do not deny yourself love and care. Yeah, be patient with yourself, forgive yourself uh, for taking the decisions you have in your life and uh, move forward in a positive way. Your asked of year to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So love yourself, do things 
that make you happy, do things that li lift your spirit, um, pay attention to the people around you that are still in your life and that do love you and that you care about. Yes, yeah, spend time uh, with nature, spend time with animals, with people, yeah, with things that make you happy. There definitely has been some deceit over here, okay? You feel as though you have been fooling yourself, yeah, you have been cheating yourself of opportunities by staying in this wait period for this person. There has been no response and now you're freeing yourself completely from this relationship, from this situation, from whatever this is, yeah, for good. So now, freedom is a choice, darling, and over here I can see you're making the choice to move forward in a positive way, focus on yourself and to, to be free of any ties to people, places and things that kept you back and kept you down. So there are signs that's cautioning you and you need to pay attention to the red flags. So make sure that you're not moving forward too fast. Make sure that the people that's entering your life uh, do not uh, carry any of the negative attributes that could trigger you. Okay. To pull away from love totally so i feel as though you've grown spiritually and uh, mentally as a person yes and you are able to see through people's uh, facades very easily so now you're making a plan for your future yes and you're working on that plan plan and seems like you are being guided onto your path in the right directions by your guardian angel your guardian angel has appeared here specifically making themselves known that you are here to help you and they are guiding you. So the signs are there, the signs are cautioning you. Yes, so the your guardian angels are sending you signs and signals from across the realm so that it comes in the 3D dimension, 3 dimension <laughs> into our current world. Yes, for you to see, so you can physically see the signs and you can follow the path. Yes, so pay attention to that and you will be guided very well. Freedom twice, darling. You're literally freeing yourself mentally, physically, spiritually from any kind of negativity. It says here, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So you're choosing freedom and happiness over anything else that was bringing you down. Very good. So Archangel Michael says here, let go of fear now. Yes, so if you're fearful of taking the step into the unknown, he's advising you. This is a sign you need to pay attention to. Yes, he's saying you, he's, what am I saying? He's telling you here that you need to let go of fear now. It's only fear that holds people back, nothing else, okay? So please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic or ego-based thoughts or feelings. Okay, and Archangel Michael will help you if you say this prayer to him whenever you're feeling the need to. Okay. So let's see what uh, initials make sense to you. Right, received I, E, H J V R Right So let's see what zodiac signs appear for you in your reading received Aquarius Virgo Libra Aries, Taurus, and Leo. You could be dealing with any of these signs, or any of these signs could be prominent in your person chart. So, my darling Sagittarius, that was your reading for mid month February 2022. I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And for my returning subscribers, I thank you so much for your donations and for being on this journey with me at the Rose Tarot. 
Until we meet again the next time, darlings, I love you. Take care and God bless.